Hey everyone, welcome to another web hosting video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to increase the PHP file upload limit setting on your WordPress installation so that you can use the media library to upload files larger than the size limit that comes with the default setting when you first install WordPress. This is a common issue mostly for when you're setting up a WordPress site on your own instance. It's less of an issue if you are hosting your WordPress website on a shared hosting provider or a managed hosting provider, mostly because that hosting provider should be taking care of adjusting this configuration for you. Um, so I will show you how to change the setting uh, in two ways. One, if you are using the light cell blueprint of Bitnami to set up your WordPress uh, instance, or if you are using WordPress on your own uh, virtual instance without using that blueprint, um, it, whether you're on LightCell or maybe you're on another hosting provider where you have your own instance there as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first option, we're going to modify the php.ini file. This is the primary file that stores all the various PHP configuration. Um, on my screen here, I have two instances uh, where I will be making those changes. Uh, this instance on the right is the uh, blueprint for WordPress um, provided by Bitnami. So with that logo of the WordPress logo, and on this side, I have a plain LAMP server uh, on the Ubuntu operating system. And I've just installed uh, a LAMP server using a script tool called um, Task Cell. And I've shown how to install that in one of my previous videos, uh, so you can check it out. But this is basically a LAMP server with a WordPress, uh, a vanilla WordPress installed from WordPress.org. Now, if you have one of these two instances, we'll cover that. But if you have instances, um, for example, uh, if you have a cPanel instance, or if you have a Plex hosting instance, then uh, I believe both of those tools provides ways to modify the PHP configurations or Apache configurations through the UI. Um, so I don't have an instance available to show you that, but if you are interested in having me do a tutorial on those changes, uh, please note that, that in the comments below, and I will try to make a video for that. Okay, so I'm going to do the Bitnami in configuration first. So we will log into the SSH terminal. I'm going to use the Bitwise uh, SSH client for that. And once you're logged into your server, then we will open up the PHP INI file using the VI editor. So I will type in sudo uh, VI and then the path to the PHP INI. And so Bitnami stores this in opt Bitnami uh, PHP etc and then php.ini. So this is where the file location is. Hit enter and this will be the file that we'll modify. So the values that we need to modify are a couple of them. Uh, first is the post max size. So let's search for that post max size. So as you'll see here, the default value that Bitnami uh, installations come with is the um, is with 40 megs. Now, if you need to up date the, or if you need to upload uh, files larger than 40 megs, then this is a value that will change. So in my scenario, I guess, let's say we want to upload files into our WordPress site that are at least 200 megs. So I will change this to uh, delete the four and do an insert and add a 20. So that's 200 megs. The next value that will change is the upload max uh, load max file size. So again, that is by default in the Bitnami installations at 40. So we will update that to 200 as well. 
Um, and then we will, when you up, when you are uploading files of this size, then sometimes you also need to update the uh, the uh, max execution time and the max input time. So we will search for those. So max execution time is 120 and these are counted in seconds. So let's go ahead and up that to 300. And the max input time is 300 as well. So that's a five minutes for both of those. So once we have made those changes, we will save. So escape colon W and then Q for saving. I did make a very short, um, somewhat short video tutorial on basic VI co commands and VI uh, basic usages in my previous video. So check that out if you wanted to learn some of the basic tools that I'm using or commands that I'm using while I show you how to modify files on Ubuntu. All right, so we have uh, changed that. Let's now restart the servers and we should be seeing the new values applied. So to restart, I will copy and paste this command. And this will restart um, Apache and reload all of our settings for the new settings that we applied for PHP. Okay, everything's restarted. Now let me go and what we'll do is go to our media library. So this is the Ubuntu version. I'll just make sure I have that. Um, I think it is, uh, 119 is the IP address, 119, so yep. So in this one, if you hit add new, uh, I'm inside the WP admin, um, clicked on media, library, and then add new, and you'll see that the max file size is showing as 40. Now if I refresh this page, once I refresh it, the new values get take effect, uh, we will see, we should see a different size, the size that we set. So if you hit add new now, now you see that the file size is now um, updated to 200 megabytes. So this is how you can change that. You can modify 200 to whatever is your requirement for the Bitnami um, installation. Okay, so now let's do the same modification to our other instance. The other instance again is a Ubuntu installation where I've just installed a plain lab server as well as a vanilla WordPress installation that uh, we installed from the wordpress.org site. So let's take a uh, look at how to do that. Um, I'm going to go back to the SSH terminal, this time log into the Ubuntu server using the Bitvise SSH client. So here, let's modify the php.ini configuration file. So to do that, type in sudo vi slash etc php 7.4 because we have php 7.4 installed on here and apache 2 then php.ini and here we're going to do the same searches we'll search for uh, post max and you'll see here that this value is set at 8 megs so we will modify that to be let's do 250 megs on this server and look for the upload max configuration and that's set at two megabytes. So let's modify that to be 250 megabytes. And then execution time. Time, okay. And this one here is set to 300. So we will increase that to, uh, set to 30 and we will increase that to 300. And then max input time, we'll also update that to be 300 as well. Okay, we save and exit out of the file and then we'll have to restart uh, PHP as well as Apache. So to do that, we'll copy and paste these commands and you'll find these commands to copy and paste on the WordPress, um, web hosting for beginners.net WordPress site. Uh, I have all the posts for all of my videos um, on that site, so you can go ahead and check those out. When you're running through those tutorials, you can use that uh, post to copy and paste commands quickly. Uh, and then the PHP service will also restart. 
So having restarted both of them, let's go to our WP admin where we have uh, where I have it loaded and it's showing two megabytes, which is the previous value. So here again, if I upload or refresh the page, I should see our new value set. It says 250 megs. So this is how you should change uh, the values uh, using the php.ini method. Um, across, uh, so th those settings apply across to other sites. So if you have multiple WordPress sites or multiple PHP apps on these servers, then they all will take those settings um, uh, for their applications. So I hope you found this video useful on quickly configuring your WordPress sites to be able to handle larger file sizes for uploading into the media library. Um, if you did find it useful, give it a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe if you haven't to the channel so you get future videos around web hosting tutorials as well as how to or as well as how to's in the WordPress world. Um, please share this video to others that may also find it useful. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please note them down in the comments below. Um, do check out the companion website, webhostingforbeginners.net, to see all the posts and steps. And you can also copy and paste the commands from there into your environment. Share the video to others who might benefit from this information as well. Uh, check out my channel. I have over 50 tutorials on hosting, well, primarily on the LightSail platform. We have WordPress tips and tricks and many other web services that help you in running your WordPress website. So don't forget to check out the other videos. Thank you for watching and until the next video, take care.